you have ever encountered a large number of transactions and needed to find out which of those transactions added to a specific amount, then you have likely engaged in a tiresome and time-consuming manual trial and error process and you may not have been able to find the right solution. Fortunately, as demonstrated in this tip, using Excel's Solver tool to find the right answer makes short work of this task. To begin, List all of the values of the individual transactions in a single column of the worksheet. Column A, for example. In the adjacent column, enter the number 1 next to all of the values. Next, in a third column, enter a formula that multiplies the first two columns. For example, in cell C2, enter the formula A2 times B2. Upon completing the basic setup, your spreadsheet should resemble that currently shown on the screen. After completing the initial setup previously described, create an input cell for the target value you are seeking, a cell that references the sum of the data in column C, and a cell that includes a formula to show the difference between the target value and the sum of the data in column C. This section of the workbook is currently shown on the screen. In cell F2, we are entering the target value, in this case 2,426. Cell F3 includes the sum of the data in column C, and cell F4 shows the difference between the values in cell F2 and cell F3. Finally, set up Excel's Solver tool to find the combination of values that makes the different cell, in this example cell F4, equal to zero. You will find Solver on the Data tab of the ribbon in the Analysis group. Now if for some reason you don't find it there, activate it in Excel Options on the File tab of the ribbon. To configure Solver to find the solution, you must specify three inputs, those being the objective, the variables, and the constraints of the equation. The objective in this example is to set cell 4 equal to 0. In this example, the variables are cells B2 through B201. This represents, of course, the multiplier column in the worksheet. Lastly, there are three constraints in this solver equation. They are cells B2 through B201, must be less than or equal to 1, must be an integer, and must be greater than or equal to 0. You can set each of these constraints by clicking the Add button in the Solver Parameters dialog box. All other inputs in the Solver Parameters dialog box can retain their default settings. Upon entering all of the solver parameters, simply click the Solve button and Solver will find the combination of numbers that add to the target value specified in cell F2. Solver does this by changing the values in column B, the multiplier column, to 0 or 1 and then checking to see if the sum of column C, the product column, is the same as the value in cell F4, the target cell. Be aware that there are two limitations when attempting to use Solver as described in this tip. First, Solver limits you to a total of 200 variables, and second, Solver limits you to 100 constraints. Otherwise, you should be able to use this technique to replace the inefficient manual processes formerly engaged to identify the cells that add to a specific value. Solver is a long-standing but little-used feature of Excel. If you haven't worked with it before, you will be amazed at how it facilitates what-if analysis and how it simplifies finding solutions to many different types of otherwise complex Excel problems. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.